Mr. Mayor, how you doing? So, Jose, I'm sorry, Jose, make sure we connect and we're going to take a walk over there. Okay, that's a nice suit. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. You. Um, one, uh, so there was a rent guideline survey recently, um, mm -hmm. and it showed based on the latest data that landlords' net operating income went up 10%, um, and it's based on a citywide average. I think it's driven by a lot of the buildings in Manhattan. I was wondering if you're familiar with the survey, if you had any reaction to it, and if how you think that should play into what the, the rent guidelines board will do when they vote. And then uh, just quickly, a process question on the, the uh, PD's Twitter account. So when the DCPI account tweeted the, the tweet where they had the, uh, the derisive nickname for the reporter. The right. Like a, the nickname for the reporter. They right. called him mm -hmm. like the uh, um, When something like that happens, I mean, it seemed like a bit of an escalation from the normal press releases that we get, like specifically naming a reporter. Is that something that gets cleared through like the, the comms office in City Hall, or is DCPI more left to kind of do their own comms when it comes to stuff like this? Well, well, well you know, there are things that we vet if we want to send out a clear message. Um, but I trust uh, Tariq. Tariq is over there. He changed the game in DCPI. Uh, you know, more access to ethnic media, a clearer message. And these guys, listen, they're going to protect the men and women of the police department. That's my order to them. My order to them is I'm tired of everyone talking down on the people who are placing their lives on the front line. I'm out there with these guys. And every, and let, me, let me correct that, not everyone. The, the overwhelming public is happy to see the loudest are continually to be anti-police over and over again. And I want these offices, I want the leaders of the administration to stand up for police officers who are placing their lives on the line. And the um, and I think that's what they're doing. I think Chief Shell is a real leader for these officers of thousands of guns off our streets. These guys are out there 3 a.m., 4 a.m., on the scene of building collapse, of crimes, of flooding. These guys are on the front line defending this city and protecting the city. And I think New Yorkers respect that. I think New Yorkers appreciate uh, what the men and women of the New York City Police Department, uh, what they're doing. I think their hearts go out for Maura Rivera, uh, for Jonathan's family, for Stephanie. Uh, you know, these are real people. And, you know, let's not separate the fact that those who are leading these agencies are human beings. And there are many articles that have been critical of them. You have to ask yourself, what happened this weekend? It was raw. 5 p.m. of the day they buried one of their own that they knew they were connected to. We saw something like that. I thought it was distasteful. 